Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to clean your imaging sensor. My son Taylor is going to help us uh, because I just tested this camera. This is our crash test, crash test camera body uh, that I've lovingly named Terry Bull, but I'm not sexist, so also Terry Bull. And uh, Taylor is going to be in charge of the dirtying of the camera. Do you think you can do that? And I'll be in charge of the cleaning of the camera sensor. First, I want to show you how to clean, how to test the camera sensor to see if it's clean. The way you do this is to simply put a lens on the camera, and then you're going to take a picture of a white wall, the blue sky. Usually, I'll come into Photoshop and just make a plain blue screen, and then I'll take a couple pictures of just that screen. Uh, and it doesn't have to be blue. I just find that that helps uh, to see the the dust a little bit better. And then we'll put the memory stick in the computer and import those photos into Lightroom. And when I do, this is what you see. If you go to the spot removal tool, and then that will bring up this little check mark here for visualize spots. If you have a plain black screen, that means you have a clean imaging sensor like this right is right now. If you don't have a clean imaging sensor, it looks something like that. And that's a great way to visualize and see exactly uh, how you're doing with your, your, your dust before and after you clean to make sure you got everything. But right. this guy is too clean, so let's take this sucker outside and see what destruction take can do to the camera and if we're able to clean it. Test one, the extreme leaf blower. One egg for the cookies, one egg for the camera. All right, suffice it to say, Terry's in some pretty rough shape. I did the Lightroom dust spot visualization and it looks like something from the zombie apocalypse. But now we're ready to start cleaning. What you haven't seen is that I took just a washcloth and gooped out all the egg that I could, but that's not a step that you're usually gonna have to find. Uh, so let's go with, uh, with the steps to do this. First is I'm gonna just take off the lens. The next thing that I need to do is I need to flip up this mirror because in a DSLR, that's you know what makes it a single lens reflex is this mirror. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to go to menu, lock up mirror for cleaning and start. Now when I press the shutter button, it's going to flip up that mirror. Perfect. And you can see it's very, very dirty down there. Uh, actually could have been worse. I'm surprised it wasn't worse, but I got out a lot with the washcloth. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is just turn it upside down and shake it a little bit, see if I can get any of the bigger things out. Sometimes that'll get dust out. Some people use like a rocket blower. Um, that's fine, but usually it's not going to do the whole job. And so I'm just going to jump right to the peck pad. First thing I'm going to do is take just one peck pad. The nice thing about these compared to a normal lintless cloth is your cloth may be lintless, but if you're wiping lint all over it, getting, you know, cleaning a lens or a sensor, well, it's going to get lens. It, it lint on it, even if it, if the cloth itself, it doesn't produce lint. And so the reason I like these pec pads is one, they're made in a sterile environment, so they aren't going to have dust on them. And then when you're done with it, you throw it away and you're always zipping up the pec pad. So, you know, you have a fresh one. All right, so I'm just going to go in with a dry peck pad on the sensor first, and I'm going to get out what I can. I always start dry when I'm cleaning the imaging sensor because often that's going to do it. You just need something to actually touch that, that dust or that lint and get it out, and uh, usually that's all we need. 
This, I happen to know, is going to need a little bit more because, well, this is a pretty extreme circumstance. So if you do need liquid, um, I recommend this Eclipse Optic Cleaning Liquid. Um, I have always had good success with it, but I find that it's very rare that you need liquid. It can work in some circumstances where it's really, really bad, but 99% of the time, all I'm doing is grabbing a pec pad, wrapping it around my finger, and then just moving it around the, the imaging sensor that down there gently, and that's all it's going to take. All right, but if we do need any cleaning liquid, which is rare, I don't recommend starting with liquid. Every time I get, I get somebody who's doing this for the first time, they jump right to the liquid and it just leaves streaks and stuff all over the imaging sensor. You really don't need this, but very rarely. We're gonna put one drop is all on the, on the cloth, and then I'll put my finger right behind that, and then we'll go in and wipe on the sensor and try to get everything off. Once I've gone through with the liquid, don't let it sit or else those streaks start to form on there. So you got to immediately go in with other, um, other wipes and just do small circles all over the imaging sensor gently. You certainly don't want to scratch it, um, but unless you're doing something reckless, you're going to be fine. I have never heard of anyone scratching their imaging sensor when using this method, and I've taught it to a lot of people. All right, that's really all there is to it to clean the imaging sensor on your camera. It's really not something that should scare you. I hope uh, with this video we had a little fun with it, uh, but I hope you're able to get the important information. All you really need is cleaning liquid and some pec pads, maybe a blower if you want to try that step uh, first to see if that will do anything, but that's it. You can get the materials in the, the description of this video. It's a nice, inexpensive way to clean your imaging sensor. You do have to be careful with your imaging sensor. Uh, there is usually a little low pass filter over it, a little piece of glass, and that, well, all of it is very fragile. And so you wanna take good care of it, but even under these extreme circumstances, you can see that it's pretty easy to come clean just with a few pec pads. Thanks for joining me on this video, and be sure to subscribe to the Improved Photography's YouTube channel. See ya.